Hi, Kaizen Sensei here. I'm going to teach you another lesson. Today we're going to talk about the Ishikawa fishbone diagram. All right, I'm going to spell it out for you. Here we go. I'm going to try my best. Ishikawa. It's a gentleman, I think his first name is Ki A U R U. Kauro. Kauro, I think it's an O. Okay. Anyway, look it up. You guys have a, a cell phone, Google it. But what is Kauru Ishikawa famous for? Well, he's a scientist, organizational scientist that kind of looks at ways and how you can evaluate certain situation. In Lean Six Sigma, the Ishikawa fishbone diagram is used to find the root cause of a situation. That means if you look for a root cause, you're going into something called cause and effect, okay? And they use it to find out if a fish has been in a situation, you can reverse engineer, find out where it starts. So I'm going to draw a picture. I'm not very good at it, but I hope you can just follow me. This is a fish's head, okay? And this is a tail, okay? So far, so good, huh? Okay, now, from a cause and effect standpoint, this is the effect, okay? Back to cause and effect. And this is the cause. Now, first of all, we know that a fish has to live in a body of water. And that would be considered the environment. Okay? Environment. And that environment could either be ocean, river, spring, aquarium. Okay? Follow me? And then it could be dirty, salty, clear. So you can see that the environment plays an important role. And so we divide our cause into something called special, and this is called common. Cause special versus common cause that drives the effect. And the effect can either be positive, ne uh, neutral, or it could be negative, cause and effect. Now the fish, um, in the we call, we call as we call it a fish bone, we start to develop their spines. Okay, here's our some of the spine. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, follow me. So the first spine is called labor. The second is called infrastructure. Okay, just the other one is material and supply chain. And the other one is process or method. Some people, they call them the five M's, you know, man, machine, material, method, and this is mother nature. I mean, however well you want to call it, but it's still kind of like still builds the fishbone. Now, <clears throat> from a cause and effect standpoint, say we have a company. Our company every day requires us to have labor, which includes ex executive management all the way down, must have whatever material through a supply chain to feed into the processes, and you need to have the infrastructure to make it come around. So you got these dynamics working, 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 working. Now, as a fish swims into the water, whether it be ocean, river, spring, whatever it is, determines the type of movement that it needs to go to in order to come up with an effect. Now, a fish can either be a predator, or it could be a prey, or it could be both. So the fish has to have a plan for survival. Okay? It could be instinctual, or it could be planned. In a business in a, in a business setting, we have to look at it as a method for us to get to our destination. In the past, I talked about SWOT, remember? Strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. On how we can use this Ishikawa fishbone diagram to meet our goals and objectives. Now, this is very important because you can use it in two ways. Okay? The first way is to determine 
the root cause of a bad effect or a good effect, okay? Or we can use it for a planning methodology so that we can ensure a strong effect, okay? The Ishikawa fishbone diagram for me has been a very strong and powerful tool whenever I come into a situation. Say, for example, I was in the oil fields, okay? <clears throat> and we had a situation where um, an employee almost cut into a live um, pipe that had, I don't know, 2,000 PSI pressure that if he had hit it, it would have created an explosion. But it was, it was averted because someone told him to stop. There was a stop word. Now, immediately, immediately, my mind went into this role, okay? And as a result of it, I was able to find at least the direction of the root cause, okay? And then we had a discussion, and then we were able to find a resolution and solve the problem. So the Ishikawa fishbone diagram is very important. I want you to try to use this every day in every way so that it gives you a, a tool to find reasons to find the the causes for a certain effect okay i hope you like what you see be sure to comment below share okay and uh, tell everybody you like the kaizen sensei in the meantime and especially now please be safe and be well Thank you.